morning family it's tasha mom bear prepping so welcome to the channel welcome back to the channel you already know what time it is get your drink pull up let's talk about it um you know i want to talk about i guess not game plan but kind of how i do things as far as shopping goes as far as things we're getting every single week things that i don't um turn down or say no to on a regular basis there's there's items that um every two weeks if you will when you do a regular i'm, I'm like any other american every couple weeks going to the store doing a decent haul to get you through those two weeks and i kind of want to explain somebody who prepares what that looks like right and also those things that i do find are important that i find that i am buying every single time so when i say every single store trip um you know ish right there's some stuff it's not like i'm you know without a doubt buying these things i'm about to tell you but the way it works is every couple weeks i go out and i buy what i would call our um, perishables are fresh stuff right so every couple weeks i'm doing a grocery haul and half of that is our you know our fresh eggs butter milk bread you know fresh fruits and vegetables just all the things that typically you would go through a regular family kind of goes through making sandwiches having cereal just your basic perishables and fruits and vegetables um to last a couple weeks right or however long they last right and then the other half of that is <clears throat> i am grabbing um, my my regulars what I'll call my regulars and that's what I'm going to talk to you about is my regular things that I grab um, for the most part every single time I do every two weeks when I do it a, a, a bigger size um, I guess grocery haul when I'm getting my regular stuff okay and then in between that though you guys I go to the grocery store a lot because I like to keep up on the shelves what do they look like limits as soon as I hear my sister or anybody talking about in my specific area a shortage or a store doesn't have something I am immediately going out and checking during different stores not to necessarily buy the item but to just confirm that that is what's going on or if there's other stores you can get it just so that i'm in the know of what's going on and of course if i did see something that was squirrely that made me scared that and there was something i knew i needed to get still and something set me off as far as hey you need to get so and so thing um then i would do it right especially if it's something i don't have or i'm i know for a fact i'm running very very low on okay um and another thing i'm doing is when i'm going in those little weekly trips to just kind of see the shelves that's when i'm picking up the weekly sales so all when i'm in the stores my regular stores um just checking on shortages and shortages and stuff and i do that weekly um that is not necessarily to buy some some large grocery haul it's just to catch those sales and see what's going on and so i'll pick up those one or two three items that that store happens to have on sale and i'll pick up those things only okay um but for the most part I'm, I'm a every two weeks kind of gal as far as a decent haul um you know a couple hundred dollars right um getting those pairs at least now i mean it's gone up uh, i remember when i was under 200 dollars easily um and now it's closer to 400 to do that so what are some things that i get every two weeks or on a regular basis ish right it's not like i'm going in there and list and making sure i hit everything stuff like coffee absolutely every single time i'm either grabbing a box of the k cups or i'm grabbing another container of ground coffee i like to switch it up sometimes it may not be coffee and i'll, I'll just um, stock up on some creamers or i'll grab another box of some or another, um, the long-term creamer right your powder creamers i'll get either a jar of that or i'll get a i'll get a box of some of some stuff so I, I try to, and it might be coffee filters. So basically from that aisle, I'm grabbing something. So one week, it might not even be coffee at all. And it might be like, hey, I'm going to get five boxes of teas. Okay. Um, so I go with the flow, but there's certain areas that I absolutely get all the time. Toilet paper, every two weeks, I get that big case. Um, tampons, every single two weeks. Um, and, and I say that loosely because sometimes, you guys, I'm not getting these items. But they are regular items that I am getting a lot of the time. If not the every two weeks, absolutely every single month. Um, what else did I have in here? Candles. I'm a huge candle person. I pour candles. I make candles. But I also like to buy candles. Um, just because it's much easier. It's faster. And um, 
I can stockpile them. So I stockpile all types of candles. Sometimes if I'm out and about and I see a sale, especially a sale, I'll grab, you know, four or five candles. I like the 16 to 20 ounce candles that you can get from Walmart or even Target. Um, and it's surprising because Target has been coming through with a cheaper candle in regards to that size, that basic candle, right? Um, and, you know, it, it's, it's, it's crazy because Walmart used to be the go-to, but Target of all places is ending up having a cheaper candle only by like 30 or 40 cents. But still that adds up when you're a candle buyer like me and you buy and stock them all the time. And, and I do that with different candles. Sometimes it might be tea light. Sometimes it might be the, the long votives. I, I just get some candles are very important all the time. Matches all the time. Um, canning jars, right? Canning lids. Um, I'm, I'm always in the aisle seeing, you know, how the shortages, shortages are doing, getting different things, getting items. Um, and I, I just think it's important to constantly be doing that. You know, you're going to, as a canner, you're going to get to the point where you have, you're eating off of the stuff that you've been canning. And eventually once you've been doing it for a while, you're going to have jars that you're able to reuse, possibly lids you're able to reuse. And so... Um, there will be some sort of rotation, right? So you're going to make your money back um, tenfold. However, it, when you're first starting, you know, I've only been canning for about a year and there's very big gaps in there where months where I wasn't canning at all. And so I'm still in that process of buying new jars and getting new stuff and stockpiling. But eventually I'll get to the point where that won't be a priority. But for me, once a month, every month, that is a, that is a um, pro prolific item in our house that I'm constantly getting. With that said, salts for canning, sugar for canning, um, vinegar for canning, those items you go through a lot of, especially like for canning, water bathing, you're doing a lot of jams, jellies, stuff with fruit, syrups, different stuff like that, that, that adds up real quick with the sugar, okay, um, when you look at those recipes. Not to mention holidays, baking, whatever, so sugar, um, salt, uh, you know, um, and vinegar. Vinegar is a huge one. You know, obviously use that for canning, um, to clean rims and to put it in my canner. But I find myself using vinegar a lot more and cleaning lately, especially when pops and mom were here, um, you know, as far as laundry, right? And so I, I went through quite a bit, but vinegar has always been a top priority for me and my family. You know, these are things that the reason why I buy them so often and stockpile them is because um, we use them on a regular Days. Like I'm not sitting, you know, with 20 things of vinegar in my in my uh, garage, right, or in the house, right. I'm I'm not sitting here with with a ton of that stuff. This is stuff we use on a regular basis, you know. And so, um, but it scares me because I, we use these things so often, these things I'm talking about so often. Um, and it's like, you don't, you don't even really get a chance to stockpile it because you, it's an item that you use so much and you might have a little bit of it stashed away. Um, but when you talk about long-term chaos, long-term, um, break in our economy, break in the supply chain, you know, and food and shortages and, and things like that and empty shelves, um, and famine, that's a problem, right? Because we're going to be just like everybody else. We might be okay in the short term, but give it, you know, a couple, couple weeks, even a month or two, we're out of stuff just like everybody else. So we may be well off in the beginning, um, but quickly are going to realize that, Hey, we might not have, you know, a ton like people think like, well, she's a prepper and she's always talking about she buys vinegar and she probably has all the vinegar. No, baby, I probably have four or five max. And that's if I'm really just haven't been canning and just it's just been sitting there. Right. Um, but let me start canning. Let me start doing stuff. And surprisingly, I fly through it, you know, so get the things that, you know, you use um, things like ammo, you know, the the controversy with um defensive tools and trying to ban stuff and take stuff away and um all the rules that go around with ammo and what you can get what you cannot get and things like that i think it's very important that um to get defensive tools to get those um and to get 
the things that you need for that and get them now before you can't get them anymore or we run into shortages because the more chaotic things get this more scared people get and then people start to make decisions where they go out and they get this stuff and then you can't get it anymore if you've been maybe putting it off to get it like oh i'll just get it later um obviously stuff like batteries is a big deal you know batteries um the thing that i've learned recently really is you know i've always been a huge battery buyer battery buyer we use those i've talked on this channel of times where i deplete that and i realize i don't have any batteries then there's times where i have batteries but we're constantly buying batteries um then the thing i learned this year was with the rechargeable batteries right it's a must you have to get those they have batteries that have that click into the chargers that you plug in they have the ones that um almost like a usb or a phone cord almost connection right to the battery and charge um so there's a lot of different stuff on the product and it's um, on the market and it's definitely something that you want to look in too. But batteries is a huge, huge um, piece of preparedness and being ready just because so many things use batteries. So many preparedness items use batteries, lanterns, flashlights, things like that. And so you want to have that stuff um, readily available. You run into a situation and now you're changing batteries all the time. You want to be ready for that and have that stuff stockpiled. We've talked a little bit about this with meds, right? So, um, you know, you have amoxicillin that's been a shortage. Um, you have children's fever, all this stuff, um, different medicines over the counter. Me, I have always been a huge, huge fan of stockpiling um, meds. And with meds, um, when I make a big grocery haul, I'm without a doubt, especially if I'm at Walmart, because Walmart to me is the best deal, unless there's a specific sale going on, um, the generic, and I grab the two pack of ibuprofen and the two pack of the Tylenol, the pain reliever, the generic, um, and then I usually grab a bottle of the PM as well. Um, additionally, what I'll do is I'll go to the next aisle over and I'll get cough medicine and cough syrup. And for our house, you know, we have somebody who has a uh, high blood pressure, hubby does, and so there's certain cough medicine and certain cough syrup. And so I'll grab the stuff, the regular stuff, and then I'll grab um, one of the stuff that he's able to use, okay? Um, but that's that's an, that's a normal thing because that stuff, you know, you can say you stockpiled it, but you go through that stuff like this once you hit, once that flu and stuff hits your, um, your house, okay? Um, what else? lamp oil this is not once a month um that's probably every every three months i'm getting propane i'm picking up more uh, lamp oil and i'm picking up more more propane unless i happen to be in the store and i see a sale especially on the green propanes um i'll grab them okay but those have kind of gone up um another thing is trash bags every single time no matter what trash bags um if i don't get the black ones the heavy duty construction black ones then i'm getting the regular smaller um, white ones. Um, you cannot go wrong with trash bags. You absolutely in the chaotic situation, you're absolutely going to use your trash bags. If anything, just to hold trash, hello, um, for emergency toilets, you can slip them on for rain gear, for, for real cheap, very, you know, um, last minute rain gear. You can put them over your windows. Um, there is just a, a ton of ways that um, trash bags will come in handy and you're going to want to have them so you can't go wrong with that in line too is like your your baggies your your gallon size baggies your sandwich baggies your snack baggies i'm constantly using those we constantly use those paper plates is another thing we constantly use those now i've tried to fall back on that so that we have a good stockpile for grid down right but again one of my mantras is you always keep your house clean not your house so much but specifically um your dishes washed and your laundry done because the last thing you want to do is power goes out for three weeks you had you know all the laundry was dirty you're down to your last pair of you know two pairs of underwear and socks you didn't do laundry you have a you know a sink full of dishes that are starting to stink and so i keep up on those two things so it's super important to just be paying attention um stay up on stuff and and get these things that um, will make your life uh, easier. Other thing is, um, I already mentioned butter, so I won't, I won't say that, Epsom salt. Another thing, so I soak my feet a lot. Foot care is super, super important, especially if you're out and about, you're doing chores, you're walking a lot on your property, you're checking on animals, you're doing livestock, you're checking a garden, whatever it is. Um, 
feet are super important that you want to take care of. Epsom salt, again, has so many different things that it can be used for um, in your garden, different things. And so it's super important. It has gone up in price a little bit. Um, but again, I try to get it. Walmart seems to be the cheapest place um, and keep a lot of it. Okay. So Epsom salt. But again, let me go through a spout where we're using it a lot. And then before you know it, uh, taking a lot of baths with it or whatever, and it's, it's dwindled down to nothing. Okay. Um, another big one is uh, baking soda. <clears throat> so again, baking soda. I don't, I don't actually use my baking soda that much for baking. <laughs> you know, maybe once in a while if I'm baking something that takes it. For the most part, ours, mine is used for cleaning. Okay, whether that's laundry, whether that's um, unclogging sinks, right, with a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of baking soda, pour it down the sink or toilet. Um, that stuff is very, very helpful. Okay, so baking soda, a lot of that is used for other things. Um, outside of baking okay but super important again has a ton I did a video oh my goodness over a year ago probably on the, all the uses for baking soda I'll try to remember to link it in the video below so that you guys can check it out but it's like you know a thousand ways to use baking soda in your home and why it's so important to um, stockpile it so I'll link that in the in the description box below um, I've already mentioned that um, rice so if you follow me for a while, you'll remember that the way I started prepping many, many years ago, decades ago, after Katrina was, I was in the military. And every time I would hear something or I would be scared of something, you know, I knew I wanted to prep, but I was always constantly moving around, doing stuff, exercises, deployments, all this stuff. Um, and I would get two things. I would get a bag of rice and I would get um, cases of water. And I would get that and I would bring it home. And before you knew it, I had that in my car. I had bags of rice and water that I hadn't brought in. I had it in my house, in my pantry, you know, and so, those were like the two things that I constantly were was picking up and um, wanted to make sure I have. And that hasn't really changed. Water super, super important. Um, you know, decades later, you're talking about water is like one of my biggest preps. And then the importance of rice. Rice, beans, both are just super, super important. Um, let's take a look at my list, you guys. It's just some silly... Okay, other two things is soups and broths. So I, I've made it no secret to broths. I'm, I'm huge on broths as far as water replacement, making your water last so that you use broth when you're cooking, if you can use it and substitute that instead of water and stuff you're, you're cooking, right? Um, but I, I just love it, love it, love it, love it. You need to make something a little bit looser. Um, it's great, okay? Um, so I stockpile a lot of broths. Again, I use them, I cook a lot with broths. So I preserve broth and I buy broth. I mean, I go through it, you know, I use it in canning when I'm doing different meats, you know, and that I'm using a broth as my liquid, not water. And so there's a lot of stuff um, where I'm utilizing broths. Um, so broths and then soups. I'm always trying to pick up a couple more cans of soup, especially if they're on sale. Now, one thing I will say is if it's not on sale, I'm not getting it because soup is one of those things that's really, um, inflation has hit it. And the prices sometimes, if you do not get it when they're on sale, they're like out of control, the, the amount of money that they want for that. And so um, that is something that I'm always getting. Here's another thing I'm always getting too that I didn't write down, canned meats. You know, the prepping meats, if you will, we, we've all seen it on these channels. You know, the big four or five pack of canned chicken and the cans of Spam. We've all seen it. But let me tell you, that stuff has skyrocketed. It's gone through the roof. And so I found myself the last few times going to the store, passing it up and not doing it. And I have that stuff stockpiled a little bit. But again, we cook from our preps. We cook from the pantry. We cook, we're we using all this stuff all the time. It's not like I'm stockpiling spam and then we never eat spam. We just have all these cans of spam. No, we're utilizing this stuff. And so um, and these prices, I tell you what, are um, they hurt. They, they hurt my soul when I... You know, I just can't do it. I think I went somewhere um, and I was in a, I think I was in safe, a safe way. And so safe way is like Vons. It's a little bit more spendy. You definitely have to be just buying um, stuff that's on sale, right? So I was looking for something very specific that I know only that store carries, which is turmeric, the root, the actual root, no other stores in our area sell it. But I knew that the safe way carries uh, the organic turmeric root. But um, what was I saying? I got off topic oh this the spam this spam was like over four dollars and and I, I just 
or hurt my soul. And I, you know, there's been times because spam is not like the cheapest, right? Um, there's lots of times I've bought it. It's over $3, you know, but I, I don't know what it is, but there's a point in even the three dollars that I get hurt hurtful, right? And I don't want to do it and I and I won't do it. It's gotta be really close to like the three dollar mark or under for me to feel comfortable. I really so it's it's just one of those things where it's like turkey used to be more expensive. It used to the bougie meat or salmon and I'm finding that stuff to be cheaper than beef, you know, the stuff that I thought was just, you know, the trash, you know, of the meats, right? A ground hamburger. But um it's really, it's, you know, depending on where you go and what sales, um, I'm finding that some stuff that used to be off the chain is not off the chain anymore. So, um, I hope you guys are having a good weekend. It's another beautiful day here in Pacific Northwest. It's real, it's real cloudy, a little bit of drizzle. Um, we're about to go into it. It's been kind of in the thirties, forties, right? Colding pattern. Um, but we're about to get some cold, a cold snap like crazy. So, all of next week starting Monday, all in the 20s. And I think a, like a, later in the week, like a week from now, week and a half from now, I saw like temperatures of 18. So I'm not looking forward to that. Um, that's pretty cold. And uh, hopefully after that, we'll warm up and we're, we'll stay in just a basic rain, 30, 40, you know, degree weather is is perfectly okay with me. People here in Washington, I don't know if you know, but rain doesn't stop us from doing anything. We'll be outside in it. We'll we'll do things in between the the, the stops in the rain. Um, you know, other places you go, they're like it's raining, and they you know they're not doing nothing, right? Um, but here, people still get stuff done in the rain. It it ain't nothing. It's nice. We're used to it, so it's calming, if you will. So, you guys be well. Get your drink, drink it. I haven't even taken a sip of this. Yes. Uh, get your projects done. Yesterday, I've been trying to get more into canning since uh, mom and pops. Oh, I didn't even guys update you guys the update on pops. So last night before we went to bed, I should have done this at the beginning. Last night before we went to bed, we got the call that he was awake. So he was awake totally still out of it groggy whatever but as open as eyes is awake is responding to um you know touch and squeeze and all that stuff um so so far so good thank you thank you thank you so much for all the prayers we have prayer warriors going on everywhere and so um god is good god is good and continued prayer to continue that he um continues to do well you know because sepsis is no joke um you know the percentages of people making it out of that is very very low so we're definitely not out of the clear um by any means he got a bed yesterday last night basically the same time he got a bed in the icu um so that was about almost 24 hours that he waited for a bed got a bed in the icu and then probably within an hour hour and a half of being in the icu he woke up so um, thank you for the prayers and I'm still going to ask for continued prayers. Please, please keep him in your thoughts and your daily prayers um, for him. Please, please. And I hope you guys just have a good, um, calm weekend. I'm going to continue to do food preservation. I did a, a freezer dump um, and did a bunch of country um, pork and pork loin with the fat on it and uh, a bunch of steaks that I cubed up. And I did a pot roast and I cut all that up and I canned it yesterday. So um, I put a picture on IG, I think, of of all those uh, pint-sized jars of meat. So that felt pretty good. That's a lot of meals right there. Um, I think I got 15 pints out of what I did. So tons of meals. So you guys be well. And I'll see you guys uh, Monday on Monday's video. Take care. Bye.